I am going to show you how to do a retro style text design using Adobe Illustrator. It will be a Brooklyn, New York shirt, so I will type Brooklyn. I'm using Nevis for my font. Create outlines and you can scale down the design. You can locate the text where you wish. You can also do this later. The next step is to use the rectangle tool to draw rectangles under each letter like this. Make sure they are slightly touching on top. You can copy and paste the rectangle to the next letter. You want to stay within the boundaries of each letter width. Once we get the shape, we will add color. And we will continue doing this for each letter. Ungroup the letters and copy only the letters with the rounded bottoms. Paste them and drag them down. This will be the bottom edge of your text. Align the rest of the rectangles with the bottom edge of the letters. Fill in the voids with shapes through the pen tool. You can merge these later if you wish. I am now selecting the entire objects and bringing them closer together, filling in the gaps. This is the retro color palette I will be using. You can make your own or search Google for more examples. Now using the eyedropper to add color to the text evenly. In this case, two letters for each color. I am now going to search for a graphic on Vecdeasy. Check out the link to the graphics website in my description. These are our results for Brooklyn. The first design of the Brooklyn Bridge could work. Let's download it. Open it in Illustrator and delete all of the background objects. We want to isolate the bridge only to make a silhouette. Release the clipping mask to continue deleting background objects. You may have to ungroup some objects to continue deleting. This looks good. Select all and change the color to black so we can mask it. Copy the bridge and paste it. Roughly scale the object to the size you want it on the text. I am sending the bridge to another layer and locking it so I can stretch the bottom of the text using the direct selection tool. This will be modified depending on the graphic. Now copy or cut the object you want to mask. Group the entire text and click on Make Mask. Click the black square and click Clip. Now paste your object to mask the group text. Always look at your design with the t-shirt color it was designed for. This was designed for a black background since it is the most popular t-shirt color. We are almost done. I am adjusting the text using the direct selection tool. I see that some of these cables on the left are missing, so I will go back in the mask and add the lines in black color. I am drawing this line using the pen tool 
and changing the stroke color to black. I am increasing the stroke size. Now I can copy and paste it. It now looks good, but there is one final cable line missing. I will go back and add it and we should be done. We are now complete and can export it to PNG. And here is the final design. Thank you for watching. You can add filters or a distress mask to further scale this design. I may make a video of this in the future which I will add here.